Hey guys, DB Roy here, and um, I don't know how many people know this already. Um, I only just found out today myself, so news is still hitting me. And that is that the creator of Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama, has passed away. So before I get into this video, let's have a quick moment of silence for Akira Toriyama. Okay, so I thought as a a bit of a tribute to Akira Toriyama, I thought I'd talk a little bit about how I became a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Now, here in Australia, we didn't get Dragon Ball Z right away. I think it came to us on about year 2000. I'm not sure if that's um, pretty late compared to most countries or what other country situations were, but in our case, Dragon Ball Z aired first on Cheese TV. And um, now, I had heard about the show previously from um, trailers I've, saw, I've seen at friends' houses who had Cartoon Network had the old Dragon Ball Z trailer and so yeah I thought yeah this would be something I'd like that I'd like to watch however me not having Foxtel myself I never could watch it and then I heard it was being aired on Cheese TV I went to school one day and all the bo boys were talking about Dragon Ball Z hey have you seen this Dragon Ball Z cartoon did you watch Dragon Ball Z today well, Ryan, did you watch Dragon Ball Z today? And that's how I found out it was on Cheese TV, so I started st staying home and watch watching it. I didn't care if I showed up to school late, because I really wanted to watch the show, see what it was all about, and I was hooked. You know, um, it was a martial arts show. Um, they shot beams out of their hands and blew stuff up. You know, what, what's not, what's not to like as a kid? And it was a space opera. So, yeah, pretty much hit all the things that I call a good show. So, yeah, it didn't take me long to become a fan and, well... When I got when I got older and I had myself a job, the first thing I did was collect um, the whole the whole series on DVD, including the original Dragon Ball series as well. Which, even though I didn't see see that first Dragon Ball, I still became a huge fan of the original manga as well. Dra Dragon Ball, which is all about Goku growing up and where Piccolo and all the others came from, which was, I thought was pretty cool. And what could I say? I really liked Piccolo as a bad guy. Um, and yes, now I can I consider myself a, a true fan of the show because, well, I like Dragon Ball GT as well. I know a lot of people don't, but I do like. Dragon Ball GT for what it was. I found it was still enjoyable. And, um, yeah, it was an okay continuation of Dragon Ball Z at the time. I'll admit it's not as good as Dragon Ball Z was, but it's still up there. I'm still a fan of Dragon Ball GT. 
But of course, I do like the Dragon Ball Super and the direction that's been taking. So, in short, um, you know, I I honestly think my life would probably be in a darker place if there wasn't any Dragon Ball in the world. So I will personally thank Akira Toriyama for that, for bringing me that show. It was had action, had comedy, you could, you could put it on, laugh at it, and, um, you know, it, it was enough to, um, keep me motivated, uh, to keep me tr trying, you know, even though I wasn't the best student at school or anything like that, no super athlete, basically, what, what characters like Goku and Vegeta represented was, you, you get back up, you, you keep going, and... I think that's the um, most important part of Dragon Ball. The, po the positive me messages in the series. So, thank you for joining me for this quick video. And, um, you know, I, I can't ima imagine what um, Akira Toriyama's family is going through. And well, the best we can do as um, as his fans is um, keep the spirit of Dragon Ball alive. All right. Thank you again. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys again for the next video.